From everything I'm seeing, the issue is reproductive rights, not just abortion, because it's become an agency issue for women, that they don't have the same control of their body that men do because of men. So Trump is worried about this. In politics, we call it the car that caught the dog, which is uh, the opposite, the dog that caught the car. Now that you got it, what are you going to do with it? You can't handle it. And that's what changing Roe to Dobbs and making it a state uh, by state issue may mean to voters, specifically female voters. Now, Trump uh, had an open question on this. Are you for uh, a national abortion standard that would be limiting? Uh, and he'd been going back and forth because that's what the evangelicals want, right? But he's already given them enough. Now he's worried about women. So today he announced what he says is his official position. I would be shocked if it stays this way. And the position is doing him really no favor. Here it is. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land. In this case, the law of the state. <laughs> the law of the land means that it would be a national standard. All right. And so it's the law of the land is not would mean the law of the state. No, that's different. OK, look, that's why he's reading this. Somebody wrote it. They just didn't get it right. I get why he's concerned. OK, before Roe was overturned, half of you agreed with Roe in the protection of reproductive rights. One year after Roe was overturned, 56 percent disagreed with the Dobbs decision. You see what I'm saying? It lit a fire. Roe's support up to almost two and three of us. The national mood on women's reproductive rights, which just means to them Asian uh, agency over their own body. Two out of three of us support a federal right. Now, the language is to an abortion, but I'm telling you, that is way too limiting in terms of how this issue is perceived. 76% of women feel that. 67% of independents feel that. These groups are key to women in this, uh, to Trump in this election. Now, national standard, uh, a little bit less than half of Americans support an abortion ban at 16 weeks. Is that high? No, it sounds about right on that issue. But when you look at it the other way, an overwhelming majority of Americans, almost three out of four, support a woman's right to choose, essentially, how to use her own body within six weeks. That includes over half of Republicans. So did Trump make a play that helps him where he needs help? Let's debate. News Nation political contributor, the aggressive progressive, Chris Hahn, and president of the pro-life group Students for Life of America, Kirsten Hawkins. Good to have you both. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'll start with you, Ms. Hawkins. Do you believe that Trump changed today in a way that may lose him support? No, actually, I think Trump's position today, his statement was a smart position, as evidenced by the lack of Democrat emails and fundraising requests I did not get. You know, when it was rumored in February from the New York Times that he was going to take a position stating that he was for a divisive late term abortion and federal standard, uh, my email and my my text messages were flooded by Planned Parenthood and NARAL and the Democrats fundraising money calling a law that prevents abortions in about five percent of cases a federal ban and raising money mm -hmm. on that. He didn't give that to Democrats today, and they're angry because that's what they were hoping he would do. He would fall into this trap, and he didn't right. do that. Instead, the pressure is on the Democrats to defend why they can't name one abortion they don't support. Chris? Because <laughs> it's not the government's job to tell a woman, a woman what to do with her body. That's why Democrats won't name an abortion they don't support because it's so not their place to do it. So you support abortion up until the moment of birth Trump, for any reason? Trump, even hold on, the hold on. Doesn't Trump, support the, hold, doesn't like hold the gender on, of her baby. Hold on, hold on, young lady. I am talking now. Trump cannot run <laughs> from the chaos that he created with women's health. He created chaos around IVF. He he created chaos around abortions. And here's the thing. 
people like my friend here want a demagogue around late-term abortions. When a woman has to make that horrible the choice CDC to have a late-term it abortion, happens. it's because something it's because something has gone some so horribly wrong. And they have to make a no, life and death true. decision. I, I don't think Ken Paxton, the attorney general. The I, excuse country, me. Excuse me. Did I talk over you? Could you just give me a second? Reason. All right. Well, hold on. Hold, I on, don't, hold on. Guys, guys, give me a break. I do Kirsten, not believe. Let him finish his point. Chris, make a quick point. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think women should have Ken Paxton, the attorney general of, of Texas, who's got his own legal problems, making health decisions for them that their doctor is recommending because they might die. Right. But that's what Trump created. And nobody's asking Trump, and I hope you do that's if you not, get a chance, Chris. That's not true. Who are you going to appoint as a justice? Who are you going to appoint as a justice? Because you outsourced your judges, your judicial picks, to the Federalist Society, and they don't necessarily share your view on choice. Mm. That's actually you know, not true. Chris Every pro-life I- law that has been enacted in states across the country actually maintains and has a standard to protect the woman's life, the mother's life, over the child's life if her life is at risk. It's not so the way it's been working in Texas. It's not how it worked in Texas, now, I is have it? Pers- excuse me, it sir. True. Let me finish my statement. I no, have personally no, had late-term abortion now, facilities across no, no, our Chris, country give it a break. Chris, posing make a point. as a 34-week pregnant woman, and they will give you an abortion and make you an abortion appointment for any reason. If your child has Down syndrome, which is not life threatening, if you don't like the sex of your baby, when when Democrats support late term abortion abortions, they don't put any limits on late term abortions, which is why President Biden and Democrats can't Um, name one abortion. Name a law that was passed that allowed abortion until the moment of birth that specifically said that you can't abort a child because she's a girl. I'll wait. I'll help you out with this. The left played a silly game in trying to keep choice pure, which is we're not going to tell women what to do. It's between them and their doctor. You guys use that and twisted it to make it this toxic, disgusting notion that Democrats want a baby to come out, be picking kindergarten abortion and then chop its head off. Abortion is between a woman and her doctor now. It, Look at chemical does, abortion it does pills. Not, a rapist can order chemical it does not abortion help pills. You. On a phone, and there's it no does not doctor help involved. She doesn't even have to go to a doctor now to confirm she's I'm not having you, a life-threatening Kristen, ectopic pregnancy. Kristen, you I get talk it. About I, these Kristen, I get it. That is what the Kristen, Biden administration has created through the FDA. Kristen, you don't have to flood the zone. I understand the research and the laws as well as you. I promise you. That. <laughs> what I'm saying is, politically, I don't think you do. You just reason- said we needed a congressional panel when human life begins, Chris. I don't think you understand yeah, that do. 96% of biologists confirm human life begins at the moment of conception when two parts unite. A unique no. human whole has been created. No. With you're, unique you're, you're, DNA talking about, oh my God. you're talking about the potential for human life. I'm talking about when it should That's have rights attached begins, as a Chris. person. Every, 96% I'm talking of biologists about confirm when that. you have rights attached as a person. Kristen, someday you're going to be very old and you won't be able to, under the law, make your own decisions anymore. You will be deemed incompetent. Because the law will recognize that you are no longer able to have rights attached to you because you can't make decisions for yourself. So within the law, we have a construct that does not exist at the beginning of life. Could it? Yes. Would philosophers and people who care about an answer that's not just about political advantage and demonizing people and making them baby killers want that? Perhaps. Did the left misplay it? Absolutely. Is the needle now moving the other way? Yes. We'll see how you guys adjust. Chris Hahn, aggressive progressive. That's true, Kristen, thank you for having me. You don't have to. You, you don't have to think it. Here's the good news. We'll see when the election comes out and we get the polling. And you are welcome here to make the case I'll see until you there. then. Oh, we Take know. Take care of both of you. <laughs>